Hi, everybody. Greetings, friends. It's uh, Jim. And Dave. Beer review! review! <laughs> uh, how I you going, Jim? That what we got on tap today, Jim? Why, Dave, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Terrapin Beer Company of Athens, Georgia Reverse presents right. Irish Bye Bye Wake and Bake. Bye Bye. Coffee, Oatmeal, Imperial Stout. Okay. Now, about the beer. Yes. Top off your morning with our Irish bye bye wake and bake. Yeah, 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 yeah. This version of our beloved Imperial that. Stout incorporates flavors yeah, of velvety cool, smooth huh? Irish cream and dark roasted coffee from Jittery Joe's. Who's Jittery Joe's? Well, obviously, he's a coffee person. A coffee now, because person? this Irish cream flavored beer is so sneaky good, sneaky. it'll have you staring at the bottom of your empty glass and wondering why it left without ever I saying goodbye. There. Give me the open, please. Thank you. Sorry to cut you throw. Now, this pairs well with softened ripened goat cheese, espresso Bella Vitanano. What is that? Vitano? Bella Vitano? Joey Vitano? <laughs> espresso <laughs> Bella Vitano. Hey, hey Joey Vitano. Hey, mommy, what's uh, the matter for you? The <laughs> pizza ball. Hey, uh, stromoli. Hey. Uh, what about the pizza ball? <laughs> anyway, it pairs well with soft blowing, blowing ripened uh, goat cheese, espresso, Bella Vitano or a nice Irish stew. Oh ABV is 9.4%. IBUs is 50. SRM is 38 plus. Hops or nugget? Just one hop on this beer. The malts, however, are two row dark crystal, barley oats, chocolate, black, and roasted barley. Uh, the um, label, if you didn't see it, features the terrapin turtle, tortoise, whatever it is. A chef's hat, sunglasses, having a spatula, some kind of plant in its mouth, with both a coffee pot and a sort of combination um, coffee mug, which is strange. But anyway, and it's holding a beer apparently too. Dave, you are like the terrapin turtle. I'm pouring far away. It's difficult. Thanks. Well, let's take a look at the color. The color is black as snow. Head on it is a dark tan. Ooh. Okay, time lapse of photography. <laughs> okay. I know what you were doing there, but why don't you explain it to the internet just to make sure? No. Hey, what do you smell? Smell yeah, coffee? Uh, um, I smell. Vanilla? Oh, God. Sweetness? Roasted notes? Oh, God, it Hint of good. chocolate? It does smell very good. It's all that stuff wrapped up in a rainbow. Wow, thanks, Dave. <laughs> the rainbow added so much to that conversation. Cheers. If I try to drink the beer through this one inch of foam, <laughs> maybe Jim will think both are equally full if it's up to the glass with foam. Rim the glass. Anyway, cheers. Bam! Ooh, what an intense flavor hits you in the tongue. Yo, oh, that foam in there from that beer was better that way. Yeah, I have to wipe. It's so much foam, I have to wipe my face off. It's better that way than the other way. Because you have less and I have more. Yes, I'm sure you think that way, Dave. <laughs> there, hot shot. Well, I feel better now. In more ways than one. Dave, give us your thoughts on the flavor. Boozy. Oh, I agree with that. Very boozy. That, um, what's the ABV on that again? 9.4, but it's really, really well, like, balanced. That's actually, we had a uh, earlier it's Imperial balanced. Stat really that was well. 12. It wasn't Where is my as glasses? As... I have no glasses. 9.4 I correct. can't read. Well, for me, there is a really high impact of a dark, rich roastiness combined with a coffee bitterness. Who is just that? kind of just. Is that a person tongue. or an animal? That is the terrapin turtle. Tortoise. It's, there you go. Uh, because, terrapin is the name that, of that's not a that person, kind of that's animal. Kind of animal. That's all I know. Yeah. It's a turtle. Oh, right? my God. That was good. That's good beer. It is. This, again, is not really like a wine or a beer. This is more like something in between. This is like a. It's almost like a this coffee. Is like, this is like uh, a dessert beer. I agree with that. 
It's fun. This would be a nice way to top off any evening. It's like having a, a, a piece of cake that you just drink instead of eating. That is very good. Well, Dave, give us a number, buddy. No, oh, 7.8. Really? Well, two, five, eight, seven. <laughs> well, I love Imperial Stouts. I don't know if the first sip of this one really caught my attention. Oh, it did for me. I mean, it was a high impact, but I don't know if it was a good high pack. High impact. High pack. I think maybe the um, intensity pack. of the coffee and some of the roastedness and the darkness of the roast were just a little too... Yes? Um, point to impact your tongue. Ugh. I would like it to have been bl blended better with some of the other flavors. Blended. Mm. So, it's a little lopsided beer, but it is very good. Matter of fact, I'm going to give this a very high rating. I'm, I do enjoy it a lot. It does have a nice sweetness to it. I do enjoy the alcohol heat on the back end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it actually tastes, first sip, when it's going down, it's as good as the aftertaste. So I would have to also give this a 7.75 out of 10, Dave. What'd you give it? I don't remember. <laughs> well, why don't you have another sip and give us a new number then? Okay, well, here we go. know if the difference in time and space abnormalities going on there and stuff but I watched I was, who last night <laughs> I, would say, I would say seven and a half okay yeah. that's reasonable I mean, nice try seven and a half yeah yeah now keep in mind that for us most beers fall between five and seven so it'd be I, past all seven, the kind of beers it's actually you pretty like good to drink even though once in a while we drink beers that we don't want to drink just to please Europe Dave, so, you know what? I was thinking that we should probably try to be like more us. exact. If for us, most beers fall between five and seven, maybe we should change our, our rating scale. How's that, we James? Well, we make every beer that's drinkable. Instead of being at five, we put it at zero. And if it is really bad, if we have to, we'll do negative numbers. But I think maybe we need to reset and have... Anything, what we're willing to drink be one, no, that's well, we it. We should have a pair make of glasses it, Make it right one. Now. Do you have a pair of glasses I can wear? We'll make five Submit. one, and we'll make seven, yeah. maybe still be can, seven. Can I get a pair of glasses, please? Why? Just give them to me, please. Let me think about this. <laughs> I depend on these glasses, and they're the only ones I have. And you're all effed up. Let me think about this. No. Dave, what does this have to do with the beer? I'll be like, we you talking about, Will? You know, and they Yes, go. because... Uh, What's this the little oh, midget guy? He four glasses. Mm -hmm. No, he didn't. That's what I would have done, though. It'd be like All right, Willis was his brother. It would have been like a name? '70s joke. All man. right, come on. All right, facts of life. Willis. Facts of life. Right. Okay. Who said that? Um. Uh. The, what's Ooh. his name? Gary Coleman. Mm, yeah. Well, what was his character on the show's name? Um. Good his brother was Willis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and of course. What was Gary was Coleman's role? God, what was his role? Wait a minute. Um, God, I can't remember. Yeah, his saying about his brother. I remember his brother's name, fictional name, but oh well. I'm blanking out. That too. whole family was all messed up because, like, one girl died, another one got blamed for like doing kind of drug stuff, and the other one, like, didn't he die too? Well, I imagine a lot of them died at this point. Gary Coleman's dead. I would assume that the father figure is probably gone by now. Dana, Dana, what Dana what's Dana, her name? Not Dana Carvey. Uh, Dana Portman? No, yeah, that's not Portman. No, you're thinking Natalie Portman. Uh, Dana, not Carvey. <laughs> <laughs> not Carvey's in my brain now. I just can't think of anybody but that. Um, Dana Plato. Dana Plato. Oh, my God. I remember High five, her. buddy. She did these awesome, like, stuff from back in the 90s where, like, from, like, the... Uh, First computer generated like uh, games and stuff. Yeah, didn't she have an accidental overdose or something like that? She, that's what she happened to her. She died inside of a Right after she was on the Howard Stern show, and everyone gave him a bunch of crap yeah. about it, I think. Yeah. But it was his fault. Anyway, so there you have it. Um, 7.75 from Dave. Yeah. Yeah. Almost 7.75 like, from me. Yeah. I think that's what I said. Yeah. And uh, so, hey, try this. It's really good. I think this might benefit from aging. Maybe Be likey. Like, that little impact at the beginning might mellow with age. You know, I'd rather it be a little less coffee-like, a little bit more sweet and oaky. Uh, so we'd like to do the Surgeon General's warning, which 
generally states something along the lines of women that are pregnant should not drink alcohol beverages due to the risk of birth defect. No good. You should not operate. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, the beer's not over. The beer review's not over, but I'll just start watching my videos because Jim is talking now and I'm bored. Thanks, Dave. Way to be professional. Women are pregnant. Should not drink alcohol beverages due to the risk of birth defects. You should he is so right. Heavy machinery. I agree with him. Or, 100%. Uh, that's it. Yep. Drive a vehicle. Bye, bye, bad boy. Bad boy. And of course, days. excessive drinking can cause health problems. And the reason we try these different beers is we believe that you should drink great beers. <coughs> Shall I pick up your part? And have a good laugh with your friends. Over <laughs> oh, with two. With your friends. Spock! I was thinking war again. Be our friends. I was friend. a long time with your friends. Arr. What? Be our friends. Subscribe war. to our channel. Just thumbs up, thumbs down. War. Comment below. What? <laughs> uh, excuse me. See you next time on Jimmy Day Beer he Review. means that, you know. Of course, we don't know. Maybe there won't be the next time. I love you guys. War. Uh, Have you put any videos on?